damaging things I see in Christianity and is when we look at old buildings like this and we say, this is the state of Christianity in the world today. We look at a building like this, it's, it's old, probably 100 years old, falling down, neglected, just damaged, just dead everywhere. Nothing's going on here anymore. And we say, this is what Christianity is anymore. And I think that's why people think, well, there's no relevance for me anymore. I don't need to go to church because this is the state of it anymore. I wrote a book called Authentic, and in it I really just thought about looking at the New Testament and how the church was, how it first started, and and what they did. And it wasn't about a building. It wasn't about bricks, nails, and wood, and all this, and just it's a certain building. It was about the people, about following God. And one of the things that I try to get to people that I really wanted to see is like, what I think we need to do is just get into this book, read what it says, talk about it, discuss it, but then let's go do it, and let's go tell the world about Christ. I mean, that's what this whole thing is about, and that's what I think church should be about. We should just be doing what this says and going to the rest of the world. That's what it's all about. One of the problems I see, one of the most destructive things in Christianity is it's run like a business so often. When you see church and Christianity just run like a business, where we go out and we say, okay, go to this business and, and, and tell me, like, what are they doing to actually bring people in? Well, what's, their, what's their purpose? What are they doing that's drawing all these people? It doesn't matter what they're teaching. It doesn't matter what they're selling. Let's model that and let's put that into the church. And that's a big problem that I have with Christianity when we try to do that. I am so much for bringing as many people as we can into the church. But when we run it just like a business and all we care about is having an amazing building that everybody wants to come to, Money's coming into the plate, and, and just people are coming in by the droves, and we don't really care what we're even teaching about Christ, or if we're teaching anything, or if we even tell people to live this thing out, like, like there's no action behind our faith, then I think there's a problem. That's what I have a problem with our church today. So I, I am, in no way I'm saying we shouldn't be willing to step out there and go to great lengths to reach people. The, the, the lengths that Paul was willing to go was crazy. He stepped out there and went to all these places. We should be the very definition of get out of your comfort zone. I think that's how we should be as Christians. He stepped out there and was willing to go to places that no one else was willing to go. That's the same passion you and I should have. I think about James. It, just his whole book I really love because he's... You almost sense his frustration when he's writing this. He's writing to people saying, get out there. Put your faith into action. And I think he had the same type of passion that Paul did. Where, where I truly believe he was compelled to tell the world about Christ. And so when he came in at James 1.22 and he says, don't just listen to the word. Don't, don't really listen to the word. Do what it says. That's what I think we should have. That's the same type of passion I believe we as Christians should have. We should be willing to... Go to Great Links, step out there, and tell people about Christ. Now hold it back. You know, we did a lot of walking around in this, this old church. And it's amazing just to sit here and think about probably all the history that happened here, all the people that came in, everything that's happened here, and, and that's amazing to think about. Think about that in all churches. But this is just a building. This is just a place. The church is, is Christians, is believers. And that's what I want everybody to understand. I want you to understand, like, we see this, and all buildings are eventually going to come to an end. All buildings are going to fall down. They're going to they're gonna be abandoned. They're just buildings. So as I think about this, and I come into this building, it's, it's neat to look at all this stuff, and it's, it's cool to look at the history of it. But I think as Christians, we, we, need to, we need to not be fake anymore. We need to take this seriously. No regrets. You know, let, let's be authentic in our faith and in our walk. Let's, let's take God's word and, and be seriously. Just let's not complicate this. I, I think it's complicated so many ways. Let's just take God's word. Let's see what he's saying to do. And let's go do it. Let's go tell the world. That's what it's about. That's what I want us to see. That, that's what I want us to be. It's just not fake anymore. If we believe this, if we truly believe God, if we, if we believe He's there and what He's done for us, then shouldn't we tell the world about this? 
the question is, is, do you believe this? Do you believe God's word? Because if you really do believe his word, if you really do believe Jesus and what he's done for us, it should change everything we do. It should change how we live. It should take, it should push us and just make our faith active and cause us to step out there into the world and tell everybody we possibly can about Christ. Let's do that. If we believe that, if we believe him, let's go do this. Let's be active in our faith.